Welcome back to Happy Huddle News. I'm Madison Levine. And I'm Zoe D. Joseph. Today we'll be learning about Power Stories Theater and the brand new Voices of Truth Festival. But first, Maddie, what do you love most about theater? Thanks for asking, Zoe. My favorite part of theater is bringing audiences joy through having fun on stage. Zoe, what's been your experience with theater? I was Princess Jasmine in Aladdin and Tiger Lily in Peter Pan, and I loved every minute of it. As much as I love talking about those shows, it's time to discuss a whole new world, Power Stories Theater. Power Stories Theater is a theater on Kennedy Boulevard near the University of Tampa, dedicated to telling unique and true stories on stage. Power Story Theater philosophy is that Every person, organization, corporation, and community has a power story to discover and share with others. Power Stories Theater is currently hosting their very first Voices of Truth Festival in collaboration with the Outcast Theater Collective. The Voices of Truth Festival is the focus of today's segment. The festival is a two week long run of series of short plays that support Power Stories mission as a theater and promote diversity and conclusion. The Voices of Truth Festival has a range of plays that uplift audiences as well as entertain. The productions all will be shown completely virtually. Due to this fact, out of state plays can be produced online and people all over the world can view. The first play we will learn about is from New York. Gloria Rosen's original play entitled, Listen, Can You Hear Me Now? promises to captivate all audience watching. We had, to, we had the chance to talk with Ms. Rosen about her work. Here is a little bit from our interview. What is my favorite part of the writing process? Well, it always begins in agony. You know, oh. like, what, what I, have, I, I have a topic. I'm in, a, I'm in a writing group right now with an absolutely wonderful mentor, and she gives us what she calls a prompt, which you can use or not use. And then we go away, you know, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and we always start with this, oh my God, I have nothing to say on this. And suddenly there is. It's just that whole light bulb that goes off somehow, you know, that, that, can, that connects that connection. And then it's, just, then it's just magic, you know, all the way. That, then it really becomes fun. The way that I write it is, is really very simple. It's deaf parents, a hearing child, and a woman on the edge of, of two worlds tells the story of how she found her own voice. That is what this show is about. So that's, that's really what this show is about. And further than that, it's about communication. Listen, Can You Hear Me Now truly sounds like an interesting and beautiful story. Next, we will explore the play, Miss Mitchell's Comet by Dwayne Yancey a playwright from Virginia. This play tells the story of Maria Mitchell, America's first female astronomer. Um, Ms. Mitchell's comic is based on the true story of Maria Mitchell, who was America's first female astronomer and the first American of any gender to discover a comet. Um, she grew up on Nantucket Island um, off the coast of Massachusetts in the 1800s. Um, from a young age, um, was into astronomy, um, as, you know, something she picked up from her father. And in 1847, um, she discovered a comet that made her famous, and she became an uh, important voice, uh, not just in science uh, in the 1800s, but um, in other ways. Uh, she was a leading advocate for women's suffrage. Um, and other issues. So. Miss Mitchell's Comet truly sounds like an outstanding and fascinating story. Even more fascinating that it is historically accurate. Listen, Can You Hear Me Now is appropriate for ages 13 and up, but does have adult situations. It kicks off the Voice of the Truth Festival on Wednesday, March 10th at 8 p.m. Miss Mitchell's Comet is appropriate for middle school age and up and does not have adult situations or themes. It is scheduled for Friday, March 12th at 8 p.m. Ticket information is available at www.powerstories.com under the Voices of Truth tab. 
The festival runs from Wednesday, March 10th through Sunday, March 28th, 2021. As a warning to parents, most of the plays in the Voices of Truth Festival are for adult audiences. There are descriptions and warnings of the content of each play listed on the Power Stories website. I am Zoe D. Joseph. And I'm Madison Levine. Thank you for watching this episode of Happy Huddles News. Keep smiling and share this segment on your social media to keep the positivity going.